but it's an RF signal generator, an R WR50B. And uh I bought it as is. I figured it wouldn't be working. But it's pretty clean. It's got those original test leads. And maybe I ought to do something about my lighting, but so anyway. I hooked it up, I powered it up, and it didn't work. It gave some really strange uh, RF signals. So I'll open it up and show you what it looks like. And this thing is looks brand new inside. And uh, it has two 12-8-T-7s in it. So <clears throat> this didn't work, so I looked on an antique radio forum, and this one guy said, well, clean these terminals on these tubes in the sockets. I cleaned out the sockets, and the leads on the tubes were pretty tarnished. And so I cleaned them out, and it worked. Okay, so right now I got it on A, 85 kilo kilohertz. And there it is on the frequency counter. And when I saw this, I thought, well, there's something wrong with it. It doesn't look symmetrical, or the, the wave kind of clipped at the bottom. But on that forum, they said, well, down at these low frequencies, the waveform looks like that. So what's that? That should be. A, so it starts cleaning up the higher. The, it says 200 hertz there, or 200 kilohertz. And it's about 198. And they said that's because the type of tubes they use in here were, they worked better at the higher frequencies. And you can get, you can swap them with a different set of tubes that work better at low frequencies, probably where you're going to do most of the stuff. And it also has like a built in 455 kilohertz for alignment. And then. 10.7 but the 455 is kind of off and that's the 10.7 right there so if you go to B it goes from 200 kilohertz all the way to 550 and my scope, if I need a new one, it's getting kind of touchy, but yeah, you can see the, the waveform starting to clean up. So I had the RF attenuation down, that's why it, so when it turned it up, it cleaned it up. So, here's a little AM radio. It's got internal uh, 400 hertz signal, or modulated. So that works. And that's a percent modulation. And there's a modulated signal on the scope. So on the other bands, <coughs> or the other uh, settings, is D that goes from. Uh, 1.5 and there it says 3 megahertz my scope can't go up that high that works E goes from uh, 4.5 scale to 14 go 13.9 and it also has a, uh, a socket right there for crystals my little crystal collection. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one that will fit that socket, but I'm going to take a couple out and solder some leads on there and <clears throat> test those, see if they work. It's a 12 megahertz crystal. It's 11.998.2.
So some of my crystals don't work, but this is a 49.30. Let's see. Yep, 49.29.4. This is a. Uh, what does it say? 3,200 arts and kilocycles. So. Pretty close. Right on the edge. And these crystals have got to be like 50, 60 years. I don't know how old they are. They're old. There's a 40, 80. So. <coughs> When I got it, I assumed it wouldn't work, but uh, I thought I'd have to do something to re capacitors. But it's pretty clean. I just wiped it off. There's hardly any scratches on it. it looks almost new on the outside, in the inside, and it's probably from the mid '60s to early '70s.